Hello everyone, welcome back to the Informatica MDM tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn one of the interesting features in 10.4 and that is nothing but the hierarchy. As you might aware that from 10.4 onward, the hierarchy structure is going to change. So there are some configuration changes are there. There is a look and feel of the hierarchy is also uh, available in this new 10.4 version. If you have already implemented the Informatica MDM 10 or 10.x like 10.2 or 10.3, uh, you may need to migrate your hierarchy to this new version. Of course, the new version is definitely better than the previous version and the configuration wise also it's very pretty straightforward. So this in today's uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how to migrate the existing hierarchy to this MDM 10.4 hierarchies. We are not going to create a new hierarchy in 10.4. For that, we'll have the separate uh, tutorial. So let's start. So what are the type of hierarchies? So there are two types of hierarchy. One is regular hierarchy. Let's call it a normal hierarchy where the hierarchy is shown as a parent, child, and a grandchild. However, uh, the another hierarchy is also introduced in 10.4, and that is called as a network hierarchy. In the network hierarchy, the business entities are shown as a, a part of a network. So we are going to use the provisioning tool to configure the our regular hierarchy as well as the network hierarchy. As I mentioned, um, there are two types of uh, scenarios. One is you already configured hierarchy in your earlier version of MDM. How we are going to leverage the provisioning tool to migrate that already existing hierarchy to this MDM 10.4 hierarchy. And the second is creating completely new hierarchy in the provisioning tool itself. Our today's focus will be mostly on the migrating the existing hierarchy. So what are the steps? The steps are very straightforward. There are only three steps. First, converting the existing hierarchy. We'll see how to do that. And then next is reverting the entity object in the MDM hub to its base object. Those are the two things we are going to see in today's lecture. And the third thing is very straightforward. That is kind of configuring the properties file under the hub server. And the property file is something like this. We know this location, hub, server, resources, CMX server.properties. And in this CMX server.properties, we have to introduce two proper properties. One is hierarchy max search depth and hierarchy max search width. These two properties will be used if you are going to call the hierarchy using REST APIs. The default value for the search depth is 100 and for the max search width is a you can see that default value around I think 1 million. So yes, but I think that's pretty much high values but in case you want to search in more depth wise then you can increase these values as per your business need. So these are the few details. So let's jump into the configuration side. Here is our MDM hub tool. As we can see, there are hierarchies already configured in the MDM hub. We have the party, party group, and the hierarchy is configured for the customer. There are several relationship exits, such as child, contact, contact employee, and so on. Our plan is to migrate this customer hierarchy in our MDM 10.4. I just did log into the provisioning tool. As you can see, there is a change in the landing page of the provisioning tool. We can see the hierarchy design is introduced, network design is there, some changes to the charts and the elastic search indexes. And there are some additional pages as well as we have the different icons and colors. If you want to learn some more, then there is already documentation available you can visit. So let's focus on how to configure the hierarchy. In order to configure the or in, in order to convert the existing hierarchy to the new hierarchy, what do we have to do? You have to go to the business entity, go to the modeling, and under the modeling, we'll see the several options such as reference entity, business entities, business entity views. And yes, we can see there are two more options. One is hierarchies and other is network. 
prior to 10.4 version we had the relationship so that option is completely removed from this 10.4 in order to convert the existing hierarchies to our regular hierarchy we have to select this hierarchies option and click the create button when you click the create button it will show us two options one is new hierarchy and the second option is hierarchy copied from the hierarchy manager let's go ahead and click that i just click that option now they select the if you have the multiple hierarchies those will be listed here as we have only one hierarchy that is customer hierarchy that is one showing here now we select the root hierarchy manager entity in our case it's organization and let's name it as a customer hierarchy and click on the create new hierarchy so this will just going to copy what are the configuration you have in the mdm hub to the the new configuration of the provisioning tool now we can see the copying is going on which will take like a minute or so and here we go we got the message about the hierarchy configuration copying is complete as soon as we complete the all the conversion happened and it got available in the draft mode we can see the relationship by clicking one of those for example if i click that relationship it tells the domestic ultimate relationship what is its parent table, what is its child table, etc. It will give the other details also. What is the name of this relationship? Similarly, you can click the other relationship and see those details. We can click over the root business entity and it will show us what are the relationships are available. Suppose you would like to delete one of the relationship you are not you are not looking for to carry that relationship in your new version of mdm that is 10.4 then you can just select it one of the relationship let me select this and you can delete using this delete icon then save that change and you can publish the change once you're okay with all those changes so the when you click the conversion it automatically open in the hierarchy designer and this is the designer look and feel wise if you want to add another business entity you can just click on that and it will just add another business entity here of course you can name it and you can configure its corresponding properties now we saw how to configure our regular hierarchy using mdm hub existing hierarchy configuration now we'll see how to configure the network hierarchy in order to configure network hierarchy again we have to go to the business entity modeling and select the network so what are the configuration which are already present which will be available here as per your regular or already configured relationship in order to open in one of this network one of this relationship in network editor what we have to do is select this particular relationship let's select this organization contact and contact person and there we'll see the other configuration which you must have done already as a part of your regular configuration click on the network edit and it will open the relationships and all other it's a business entity in the network editor so the same way as like our regular hierarchy you can edit this parameter or you can select that and you can click the delete there are some other options also available such as line color what kind of color you would like to have and the other icon etc you can configure those so the, these are the things are available on this screen or on this network editor now we understood the how to configure the network and the regular hierarchy let's see little more details about the icons which we need to show in the hierarchy how can we change the icon of the business entities to show in the hierarchy view so for that we, what we have to do we have to go to the our business entity and in the business entity let's go ahead and select the um, classification or contact as a our business entity in this business entity you can scroll down on the contact level information and we'll see the color of that business entity and from business entity icon you can select 
what kind of entity you are looking for let's, so let's select the hierarchy manager and this is the default icon you will get but if you want to change it you can select the one of this file or one of this image that that will be shown as a contact entity if you have the different entity like organization or individual the icons will uh, will be different uh, this is for business entity icon if you want to select a different icon for business entity record you can have those load uploaded on your um, uh, server and those can be used so this kind of details are important to show uh, a very um, informative hierarchy in the customer 360 or entity 360 application now once we are done with this both the configuration network and our regular hierarchy the the next thing pending is nothing but the how to convert uh, the entity object to our regular base object for that acquire the right log and click on this hierarchy console and just click the revert entity or revert the relationship object to the base object so this will convert or this will revert the entity to your regular base object and going forward you can use the provisioning tool to configure the relationship or i would say the configure in the hierarchy i hope this uh, tutorial is helpful for all of you if you have any questions or queries about mdm 10.4 or if you are looking for what are the new interesting features are available in 10.4 just let me know i am going forward i will create more videos on 10.4 and the higher version thank you for your time